My family is really close. My mom and dad are amazing people that I credit for making me the person I am today. My dad was the one who first introduced me to sports, so I can thank him for that. He also told me repeatedly since I was very young that his job was to teach me right from wrong. My dad is a man who takes integrity and morality seriously. Unwittingly, I seem to have copied his mannerisms, and perhaps worst of all, his sense of humor. In recent years, I've noticed how sensitive and emotional he is. I guess I inherited that too. My mom is what you might call the cool mom. I'm pretty sure my friends come over because they like her, not me. She's a very sweet lady and is very social. I'm not like that at all, but she has always encouraged me to talk to people, and trust me when I tell you that I've come a long way. Both my parents are lawyers. No, I don't want to be one, but I'm a force to be reckoned with in an argument. My sister is a close friend of mine, and someone who I've learned to stand over the years. She is a seriously talented athlete, and has always been a lot better than me in sports. Also, she has also been the confident, popular, outgoing one, while well, I've always been a lot quieter and more studious. When we were younger, we had a strong love-hate relationship. As we've gotten older, our friendship blossomed into the relationship we have today. We've gotten really close, and I know I can go to her if I need a friend. She's also really fun to be around. She's also given me insight on the girl's perspective of things. She taught me how different girls are, and that I will never understand their logic. I consider her my best friend. I know that no matter what, she will always be there for me. And as we get older, our relationship will only grow. My dad introduced me to sports when I was really little. My dad had me playing t-ball when I was five, and I decided that I wanted to be a professional football player when I was in kindergarten. I wasn't very good at sports until I was in fifth grade, and I worked my butt off to make the all-star team for baseball. It was something I was good at, but I didn't really like much. I really loved basketball and football, but I wasn't all that good. My freshman year, I played basketball, baseball, and football. I dropped basketball the next year, then baseball the year after that. All the time I had, and effort I had invested in baseball, I decided to leave the game in a potential scholarship to pursue what I really loved, football. It was a difficult decision at the time, but looking back, it was the right one. This event signified a maturation for me and that I was moving in the right direction to step into my own shoes. I was pursuing my interests and doing what I felt was best for me. Although I didn't realize it at the time, it was a big step in discovering who I was and what life was about. For lack of a better word, my grandparents are amazing. I have yet to meet a woman sweeter than my grandma. She raised me as much as my mom did, and I love her to death. We have a very close relationship, and I see her every day. She and my mom ta both taught me how to take care of people, and set an excellent example of kindness and care. Someday, when I am a father and a husband, I will take care of my family with the same passion for care that they have shown me. My grandpa is my hero someone who has hugely influenced me. I've absorbed a lot of his philosophies, the most important being the ability to think independently of other people, or as he would say, being a leader and not a sheep. In retrospect, video games have played a much larger role in my development and childhood than I would like to admit. However, I think it effectually represents the nerdy facet of my personality. When I was young, I loved to read, ask questions, and absorb information. The only kids I ever hung out with until high school lived on my street, and they weren't even in the same grade as me. Most of the time, we just played video games anyways, and thus, Dirty Ryan was born. Football is my passion. As a fan, spectator, and player, the game has taught me so much. In football, every player is a cog that makes the machine run. Everyone has a job that they need to do and you are only as strong as your weakest link. Football has primarily taught me about toughness, how to deal with adversity, and how to be a leader. In addition to making lots of friends and bonding with people through shared hardships, I was a team captain and was forced to take a role I was not entirely comfortable with. However, I learned to how to take advantage and lead my team. Football has done wonders for my confidence. I will continue my football career at Claremont McKenna and Harvey Mudd. Until then, I'm going to be religiously working out, staying updated on the Packers, and making sure my Madden game is still the best. I have been unreasonably lucky to have had the friends that I have had. I have so many great memories to take with me to college with a lot of great people. Unfortunately, fate has distanced me from some people that I used to be closer to, but they will always hold a spot in my heart and a memory in my brain. 
My best friends know who they are, and I'd be lost without them. They've introduced me to different things, and have changed my life for the better. I think that the most important things in life are people, and that people are what make people happy, not things. I know that as long as I have my friends and family by my side, no matter what happens, I'll be okay. Mr. Balin is a friend and mentor to me, who knows and understands me in ways nobody else does. Mr. Balin has guided me through tough times, and though he didn't do it for me, he helped me find my way. I go to Mr. Balin whenever I need advice or just a friend to talk to. In addition, he is a phenomenal teacher that has completely changed I see the world and has shaped my interests. I hated math before high school, and after three years of Mr. Balin's class, I loved it. I see the world in a logical, mathematical perspective, except when I'm playing football, and I'm going to apply this through pursuing a career in engineering. An important part of my life is learning. This comes in different ways, such as researching something about math or physics, or teaching myself to play something on the guitar. Learning gets a bad reputation because school forces you to information, but I believe everyone has their inner toddler that asks, why? I think that I need to be always thinking and learning. This can carry on throughout my life because there's always more information to learn. This year, I ran track for the first time. I did it because I would be able to hang out with my friends Michael Hamill and Arjun Malik, and because I ended up being faster than I thought I was, and that it would be fun to compete. The track season was nothing like I expected. Yes, we competed. Yes, we were fast and did well. But the main thing I will remember about track season is messing around. To be fair, Michael Hamill took track very seriously, where Arjun and I were doing it for fun. He was a complete 180 from the rigid discipline of football. Archon Malik is one crazy dude, and together we embarrassed ourselves and had an insane amount of fun being total idiots. We worked hard when we needed to, and our 4 by one hundred team was really good. Archon, Hamill, and I formed a tight trio of friendship, and I learned to let loose, and not care what other people think, and take life a little less seriously. In five years, I will be graduating from Harvey Mudd. I'm doing Claremont's 3-2 program, so I will do three years at Claremont while taking classes at Harvey Mudd. After I graduate and get my degree from there, I will go to Harvey Mudd for two years and get my degree in engineering from there. It's an ideal situation for me for several reasons. Firstly being that Harvey Mudd is my dream school. It's a very prestigious engineering school, but its classes are very small. This suits me well because my learning style is based on engaging and asking questions. Also, I will get to play Division III football for my first four years. In the far future, I want to have a job that I like, surrounded by people that I love. I chose engineering because I really like math and science, and I felt like engineering was a practical application for both of those. Studying my butt off for four years made me realize that waking up and looking forward to your work is far more important than how much money you make. Someday, I will hopefully make enough to support my family and make ends meet. I want to be a really good dad and husband someday.